Hello everyone, Alexis here. <clears throat> this uh, spontaneous utterance is about the I am and Maya. So in various traditions and lineages, paths of many kind to uh, supposedly reveal the nature of non-duality, um, talk about illusion, delusion, liberation and that kind of thing. And in many, <clears throat> it seems, many traditions seem to talk about the dream state. And what is suggested in many, but by different people and places, is that the I am is in a dream. And what the message suggests is something quite radically different, that it's not I am in a dream state, but I am the dream. So the I am that seems to happen for the human organism, this sense of a me, a real person inside the body, um, is an illusion. And so that I that feels itself to be separate and limited and finite and cut off from the rest of everything that it's seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, thinking about, perceiving that I, that subject, is objectifying everything else around it, and that's duality. And the suggestion is, is that, that that is a dream. It's not that I am in a dream, but I am is the dream. And that's quite, uh, that's quite a big difference, really. And so, in terms of non-duality, it's said that that is a dream that no one wakes up from. So it's a dream, and when apparent awakening or liberation happens, that me is gone. It's no more. It's revealed that it never actually was really happening. It seemed to be happening within its own illusory dream world fantasy thing uh, of object, subject, and, you know, this and that, polarity. But... Um, when that, when that awakening apparently happens, uh, it's revealed that, that that wasn't happening to anyone. Um, so the awakening is the death, the death of me, which is why sometimes nirvana, the word nirvana, is often translated as uh, non-existence or obliteration or blown out. It means that that me is no more and it never actually was. And so Nirvana is that sort of falling away of a sense of a me, a self, which in Buddhism is often termed Anatman. But this message isn't teaching that because it already is not really there. So me is, in a, is, is a dream and when that dream comes to an end, no one wakes up. And then all there is, is everything apparently as it is, perfectly whole and complete and wonderfully completely without any meaning, purpose, intention or significance of any kind because it is already whole and free. It's not going anywhere, it's not coming from anywhere. It is simply what is. And so body is still happening. Body, you know, it's nothing bodying. It's nothing tabling. It's nothing recording a meeting. It's nothing watching. It's nothing listening. It's no thing appearing as everything. And in that is an abundance of boundless freedom and total spontaneousness and unknowing. And that's where and what it apparently is. But it is this. Just this. Much love.